In this video about having an edible landscape, I'm going to talk about how you can have a green lawn that's not a monoculture of grass. Here we have a trifecta of plants that are great for a lawn. First of all, we have the prairie violet, or viola pedidifida, which is native to the central and midwestern United States. It's a flower that gets about six inches tall, it's deer resistant, it naturalizes as well as it reseeds, and it's also great for dry areas. It's drought tolerant, so you can have a splash of green in your lawn even when there's a lack of rain. We have the dandelion, which we'll do a separate video on. That's also an edible plant, and that helps to aerate the, the, the lawn. We have clover. Clover is a nitrogen fixer. What nitrogen fixing means is it's able to take atmospheric nitrogen and assimilate it into ammonia. Now, the nice thing about ammonia is that the plant can absorb ammonia, and ammonia is one of the three macronutrients that plants require. The others are phosphorus and potassium. Phosphorus and potassium tend to remain in a clay soil like we have in Cincinnati, but ammonia tends to leach out of the soil. Nitrogen fixers are able to partner with microorganisms and assimilate ammonia from atmospheric nitrogen. If you look at these plants mixed together in a lawn, it gives your lawn a nice green look, but without being a monoculture of grass. My favorite part about edible flowers is eating them. Nay, nay, nay. Nay, 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 nay,